yesterday around this time we had a narrative or we thought that Manchester United beat the jigsaw all the puzzle of its uh, board like when it came to the technical part of the game of managing Manchester United when we got a story confirming <coughs> that Dan Ashworth to Manchester United is a here we go from David Austin and we're like all right that means we are ready to kick start but looks like for Ineos they knew to it that they are really missing out on very many people and there was a certain position that was really missing and it was all about the head of recruitment at the club of Manchester United and you saw to it that late in the night David Austin came up and confirmed us that United have gone ahead obviously contact Christopher Vivel and they want him to become the director of recruitment at the club of Manchester United and we had not gone ahead obviously gate a confirmation that he has gone ahead to really accept but Fabrizio Romano has come out and obviously told us that it's done and dusted. The same applies to a plate goal. They've come out and confirmed us that it's a done and dusted deal. And we should obviously keep counting on to this guy known as Christopher Vivel. Jordan Sancho has been offered to Man City and very many other teams by the club of Manchester United to see how things are really going to be panning out into the mix. You're going to be getting who this guy is all about, where has he been working at, and how Ineos are planning to obviously get him and what would be the stumbling block into his job at the club of Manchester United as we speak right about now. Let's see close to 300 likes much in this video. Don't forget to subscribe so as not miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Yesterday, we brought you close to four videos and now we want to obviously take it to five but hope you enjoyed our broadcast yesterday and we are not gonna forsake you we are gonna be giving you more and more and more and more and more and more of what you people deserve into the mix now we thank god for the gift of life the muslim is barakla of hikum and let's obviously start this to and let's take it to the next level now christopher vivel becomes new man united director of recruitment short term deal agreed and also green light shortly over work permit Vivel has already accepted proposal after Chelsea experience he wants Premier League return and is signing for Manchester United that is Fabrizio Romano then <clears throat> Plenty Gold came in and told us that Christopher Vivel to Manchester United is done he's set to join with immediate effect as new director of recruitment for the club of Manchester United then uh, Simon Stone told us that Christopher Vivel's arrival will initially be on a short-term basis to assist during the current transfer window although an extended stay has not been ruled out as much as united look to strengthen their football leadership and recruitment departments now even when david austin was really bringing this story to light he told us that Manchester united is looking at a short-term stay for this guy and we are like, all right, let's wait and see how that really pans out. If at all it's really a short-term stay, then we'll be, we'll be told whether it is or not. But as it stands, looks like I think he's one of those people that Manchester United will keep here for some long time because he has the experience and he wants to obviously prove to Chelsea that we parted ways. But Man United has gone ahead to obviously get me right. Now, before I obviously let you know what... I think about his coming to Manchester United. Let me really bring you his um, his background. Um, he first worked as a video analyst at Hoffenheim in 2010. You know, then he went ahead to obviously uh, work at the youth team. By the way, then he went to Hoffenheim to uh, July 1st, 2021 to June 30th, 2013. July 1st, 2011 to June 30th, 2013. Then he acted as a match analyst at Hoffenheim 2, July 1st, 2011 to July 30th, 2013. Then he went to the senior team, TSG Hoffenheim. He worked as a match analyst for the first team of Hoffenheim from July 1st, 2013 to July to October 31st, 2015. Then he started, he started to act as a scout for TSG Hoffenheim from 1st July 2013 to October 31st, 2015. Then 
he joined RB Salzburg as a head of scouting on the 1st of November 2015 to July 31st, 2020, meaning that he was there for five years at RB Leipzig. Then he also acted as a sports coordinator as sorry at RB Leipzig from 1st February 2017 to the 31st of june to the 31st of july 2023 years acting as a sports coordinator then at rb leipzig he was act, he went ahead to act as a technical director first august 2020 to 7th october 2022 then he acted as a squad planner at rb leipzig from the 1st of july 2021 to the 7th of october 2022 and he was acting as a technical director from December 21st, 2022 to July 2021, sorry, to July 21st, 2023. So when you look at his role, he has been working at some of the teams that are really good at recruitment. And I think he deserves that post of being the head of recruitment into the mix because Manchester United has been having a very bad recruitment uh, behavior. And I think it now comes to an end because if I told you are having the CEO as Omar Berada, <coughs> director of football, that is Dan Ashworth, uh, technical director, Jason Wilcox, and then you bring in the head of recruitment who goes by names of Vivel. Now, when you look at the structure of Manchester United, this is the right man to come in through because he's a, he has done scouting, he has coordinated, video analyst match analyst everything he knows to negotiate even deals to take them to where they deserve to be so we would love to obviously thank the side of Ineos on the work they're doing at the club of Manchester united and i think now if eric ten Hag fails i'll be the first person to come out and say he should be out if you hear me here if you hear me out backing eric ten Hag after getting in this team then you'll call me not my name you'll call me a dog because i believe he has now the best working environment ever at manchester united and in the history of manchester united no manager has ever gone ahead to come in through and really get exhibited to such a working condition look at the quality of these people that have gone to be brought into the club of manchester united they're really of elite quality they're tested and they are the right people to obviously bring in through at the club of Manchester United. So for me, I'm just excited that this is really a deal that United has gone ahead to obviously act quickly. And I would love to see us all also going in for signings quickly as we've gone ahead to go in for the head of recruitment. And he knows what the Premier League is all about and which players to recruit to obviously thrive into the league of the Premier League. So let's all welcome Christopher Vivel at the club of Manchester United. Though there is a stumbling block and um, it's all about Platigol confirming to us that all that's missing is the work permit of Christopher Vivel for the, for the 37 year old, the former technical director from Chelsea with many options, but decided to join Manchester United on a short term contract. United is one of the big clubs <coughs> that everyone would obviously want to be working for because, with his structure being the first of a kind at the club of Manchester United, I tell you, every person who knows that he's good at the job would like to be part of the transformation that a list of people will be put out if all this goes on as planned and i think it's gonna go on as planned because Manchester United has been competing a little bit without such a structure now the structure comes in through that means the list of these people will be honored and will be knowing that sir jim ratcliffe <coughs> juan cloud uh dev bresfold Omal Berada, Jason Willox, Dan Ashworth, Vivelle Christopher, Eric Ten Hag, Ruth Van Nestroy, Ran Haig, ETC, where the spine of retaking United back to where it is supposed to be. Because none of the clubs has the fan base we have. One, two, 
if we get back to winning ways we are gonna break the records of making money meaning that we'll be able to sign and attract very many other big players because Manchester United has been attracting big players but we haven't gone ahead to be winning very many trophies you get but with the squad put up I tell you we are gonna become a problem you get and Eric Ten Hag is blessed I tell you because he's now having exactly what Pep Guardiola is having at Man City now it's up to him to show us that he can really take this team to where it deserves to be right because he's a very good coach and at a certain point x before last season came to an end he put out a statement that i cannot play as i used to play at ajax because i don't have the people like the ones i had at ajax and he had all that hierarchy ahead of him that was really doing the job now he has very many people that can obviously scout good players and obviously get him better players at the club of manchester united and vivo christopher joins them and let's obviously welcome him at the club of manchester united now team talk went ahead and put out a story that jordan man city are one of the clubs offered a chance to sign jordan sancho manchester united is desperate to let jordan sancho go and they're trying to offer him to different premier league teams and the other two that i want to know about are arsenal and chelsea and i don't think that man city can obviously sign jordan sancho because of his attitude no big no big club in the premier league is going to come through and sign jordan sancho unless he's up for free but i don't think they can obviously mix a pinch of salt into the milk because you'll be like not doing justice <coughs> to the side of the milk and yet united is the milk and sancho is just a pinch of salt so you just can't do that and um i think time will come and we'll even reduce the price of sancho to 30 million pounds or 20 because it's better you offload him and accept that loss that it came in through and we can live without jordan sancho a player who isn't willing to offer an apology to the manager to continue his spell at the club of manchester united is as good as gone and if i'm Ineos, i just let him go and really negotiate a very good package with the likes of juventus because juventus is like we are willing to obviously take in jordan sancho and obviously he can come in through and do the needful so wait and see how that pans out but i don't know whether Man City will obviously sign this guy all Arsenal all Chelsea. So I call upon for your reactions into the conversation below about Christopher Vivel, near United head of recruitment. Confirmed. What do you make about it? And do you think Man City can really accept Jaden Sancho to return to their side? All that and more into the comment section below. Rock and David is my name. First video of the day. More is yet to come. I sign out for now. See you later as I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And we out for now. Bye-bye.